All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to choose the best markets for land flipping, for buying a property for 40, 50% of market value and reselling on the market. I'm gonna use two tools. The first thing is a Google Sheet. The link to that Google Sheet is in the description below. If you wanna use it for yourself, copy the sheet, use it yourself, run your numbers, choose your markets. I'm gonna also use landportal.com. You can get a subscription started, landportal.com slash subscriptions. And let's get to it. All right, so here I am on landportal.com. We are gonna go to the market research. This is a new tool on landportal.com. It is for the advanced plan and up. I'm gonna hit market research. We're gonna pull some data points. This is gonna be a quick video. The first thing that we talk about when we are choosing a market is we want to be two to three counties removed from main metro areas. So the first thing we need to do is what main city do we want to do this business? You can really do this business anywhere in the country. Let's choose a main city. Let's just go to Georgia and let's choose Atlanta or something like that. Let's choose Atlanta, Georgia. Let's pull some counties in this area. I'm going to show you this Google sheet here. So what we want to get first is the first thing we're going to put is right here. We're going to put the area. So we're just going to say Atlanta, Georgia, and we're going to pull five to 10 counties around Atlanta and run some numbers on these counties. And then we'll know based on this, which counties are the best for this business model. All right. So Atlanta, Georgia is in Fulton County, Georgia. Again, we want to choose five to 10 counties around that area, two to three counties removed from Atlanta, Georgia. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here. We're going to actually go to the heat map. So you can see here we have... Um, some data points that we need to find. County, state, population density, days on market, all these different things. Most of these we can find right on land portal. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the heat map and we are going to go to 12 months. For all these data points, we're going to use 12 months. We're going to use land data. Um, and again, we need to go in to Atlanta, Georgia and Fulton County is right here. I believe Fulton County, Georgia is right here. We're not going to worry about that. But what I want to do is find five to 10 counties outside of here in these areas and just put them on our sheet. So let's go Spalding County, Georgia, Henry County, Georgia, and we're going to run numbers on these and we'll go a little farther out of there as well. Spalding, Georgia, Henry, Georgia. We'll probably do five here and run the numbers. I'm going to pull a little outside of here as well. Monroe, Georgia, and you would, when you're doing this yourself, you would want to pull more than five, probably. If it's a big city like this, you have a lot of good counties around here. Monroe, Georgia. Let's do five here, though, for time's sake. Um, I'm not going to go that far out. Let's go Morgan, Georgia, and we'll pull one more. Again, this is, uh, we'll go Fayette. No, let's go a little more. Henry, Spalding, Pike. Let's go Lamar, Georgia. Again, you would do this county selection for a lot more when you're doing this, but we're going to do it for this for, for now. All right. So now what we need to do is pull data on all of these. So what you can see at the top, here are the data points. Here are our target numbers, our ideal range for each one of these. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually run through all of these for one county and then go on to the next county. So let's find a county, um, one of these, let's just do Monroe first. So we can see and what I had to do here, I changed it to five to 10 acres for the median price per acre. So what I'm going to do here, that's 12,624. And that's what we're going to put in here. We, I mean, you don't have to do exactly. You could do 12.5 for Monroe, whatever. Uh, tw let's just do 12,624. Let's keep it exact. All right. So that is our average for that. And now I'm going to pull this off and go all on here. And then we're going to pull our days on market. So you can see days on market as well. Monroe County, Georgia, 118. Again, this is for all land. So days on market, 118. That's a little higher than what our range is. And then the final thing is absorption rate. We're going to go to absorption rate. That's basically telling us how well land is selling. This is a very, very good data point. 60% here. That is on our low end here, but we're going to type in 60%. All right. We're not going to worry about population density yet. We're going to go to our next county here. All right. So here we have Henry County, Georgia. Again, the first thing, I mean, we can go back and do this. So Henry County, Georgia, absorption rate, 31.6, very low for this. Um, so let's go 31 days on market, 113. So land is not moving great here, 113. And then remember for the price per acre, we need to change this back to five to 10 acres. So we can see the median price per acre here. And this is actually high 17.5. We are going to do 17.525. I believe it was 17.525. All right. 
Next we have, we can go Spalding. We can go any of these. Let's find this. All right, so here we have Spalding County, Georgia. Let's start from the beginning. Right now we're five to 10 acres. You don't want to pull this number because we want to do all land for our absorption rate. So uh, for median price per acre, we're going to use this and then we're going to switch it to all land. So we're on Spalding County, 12373. We are going to go to the heat map and we're going to do all land and we're going to see our data points change here. Absorption rate, 37.8. We'll just do 38. Absorption rate is 38. And then our days on market is 152. So a lot of these counties aren't really fitting our data points too well here, honestly. And you can go through these and just do it based on colors. You can find out the colors for each thing and also do it based on colors. Let's go back here. So we have Morgan and Lamar left. All right, so we have Morgan County, Georgia here. Right now we have, okay, so we have 51.77 and 69 days. So let's go 52% for Morgan, 52% and 77. So those days on market are a little better. And then we're going to go five to 10 acres here. And that's the good thing. When you're running these data points, we are getting rid of a lot of, we're getting rid of a lot of these counties based on these. And I'm not saying you can't do deals on these counties. It's just they don't really fit exactly the way we do this business. So we're going to say 21316, I believe is what it was. And then finally, we are going to go to Lamar. All right, so we have Lamar County, Georgia here. We have 5 to 10 acres, 12463. So that is in our range. And then we are going to go to days on market. But we need to go all first. Days on market. 118 for Lamar. And 65% absorption. 118, 65% absorption. Okay. So what we have here, and you can go through these. and like, okay, which ones are in our range? And you can go through. You can mark them green if you want. Whatever you want. Uh, and maybe you have different data points that work for you. We only have one that has a days on market under where we want it to be. And then a lot of these absorption rates are pretty low as well. So not every time you choose a county is it going to be all green all the way across. Last thing we want to do is let's go to the census and let's get these uh, population densities. So let's just start from the top. You can search right up here, Spalding County, Georgia, and you're going to scroll to the bottom Population per square mile, 343, quite a bit higher than where we want to be. All right, going down to Henry, Georgia. And we're going to scroll down. And you can see it's comparing these. He's adding these to the top. This is very, very populated. This is 755. So what you want to do when you're seeing numbers like this, like, okay, I need to get farther from Atlanta. That's what it's telling me with these. Let's see Monroe's quite a bit farther. Let's see how this one looks. Monroe County, Georgia. All right, scroll down. All right, now we have something that's in the range. We have 71. So Monroe County, Georgia is looking pretty good. We go to Morgan County, Georgia. Scroll down once again, we're at 58. All right, so this one fits as well, but we do have some other data points that do not fit. And then finally, L Lamar County, Georgia. And that is 101. All right. So from this, like we have these two at the top, especially this one, Henry County, Georgia. Like we almost just X this out right away just because it just doesn't have anything in here where, what we're looking for. So let's just uh, take this out of there. Uh, we have the top one, just too much population density, in my opinion, if you're trying to do this business, at least to start. Um, let's X that out. And now we really have a choice of a couple others. I'm going to also X this out. We only have one green there. I'm just going to put X's over here, actually, guys. So let's just do X's over here. Now we have three. So we really have a choice between two counties. The other choice would be going back and like, okay, let's run this on some other numbers. Like these numbers aren't as good that you want, whatever it is. And you can definitely run these on different numbers. Here we have a county right here, Crawford County, Georgia. Um, and you can see real fast, it's 71%, 71%, 57 days on market. Um, let's go five to 10, see where that is. 
five to ten is at fifty two hundred. So this is very interesting to me. Like, okay, this county actually might be something that. You, so you scroll over, you get a lot of data points. But I wanted to show you guys this county selector. For me, either of these counties, Lamar or Monroe, would work really, really well for this business. Obviously, you can run this county selector on so many different markets as well. Other than that, guys, this new tool on Land Portal is going to really help doing your market research, finding data quick, comparing counties, everything like that. If you guys have any questions, you guys want to see anything more on this, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.